I think somebody would want to be a part of this team for uh, the full journey of it. It's going to be, it's they're you know doing the first thing that we've ever done in this program, and there's so many people that are watching them and excited for them and looking up to them, and they're like trailblazers for this gym and for so many kids that are watching, looking up to them, and they're going to be able to 10 years from now and 20 years from now and tell their kids like I did something that was never done before at Athletic Perfection. I didn't just, you know, come in with some skills and walk on to a level five team at some gym. I created a level five team with my sisters and the girls that I grew up with cheering and I was part of that original team. Well, like we're starting to get really into the part of the season where it's time to focus and really hone in on the actual routine itself and not as much of getting their bodies prepared to actually do the routine, which they have been doing. They've trained nonstop and uh, continue to do so, but they that part of it is able to, the actual conditioning of it can get less and less as we start to move into their actual routine. Um, it's really good. They now have fully established stunt groups, and we've been able to change their schedule so that the stunt groups come um, in 90 minutes times on Mondays and Wednesdays. So groups one and group two will come in. They'll have some stunting time and some tumbling time. They'll then pass the torch. Groups three and four will come in. They'll have some stunting time and some tumbling time. And that's basically how we do the Monday Wednesday practices for now. I think that I'm pleased with their progress, uh, but I'd like you know to really kick things up a notch at this point in the season. Um, they've got a lot of excellent fully extended stunts. They have a lot of really solid tumbling. They're definitely in the competition Oh man, they've come a long way since uh, the very beginning. We, and you'll probably see on this video that there's a lot more holes, there's a lot more uh, level five stunts happening. And I'm just really impressed with you know the skill level and then really the training that they put into it and how their bodies have changed and physically they've come a long way. I'm seeing, as far as skill wise, I'm uh, really pleased with the jump to tuck ratio that we're getting, the amount that has come in from just the past couple of months, there's a couple of individuals that have definitely gotten their jumps in time and, and they're safe and they're beautiful and they will most definitely be in the routine. Huge assets to those kids that have gotten their jumps in time. In the past couple of months, we brought in a couple of extra coaches just so that they can uh, get some fresh eyes on them and somebody other than just me or their coach, Kaylin, working with them. They had the opportunity to work with Debbie Love and she had some really, really great insight on just some fantastic drills that they can continue to progress and work on their basics leading into their more advanced skills and um, some really good pointers on areas where they may be weak and how we quickly strengthen that which I really feel like we have. Um, they've also been working a little bit with uh, Coach Hung who's been helping them out, Coach Tanner, uh, myself. I think uh, comparing ourselves to where we were at the beginning, we have definitely set ourselves up for that. It's just that we have to push a little bit harder and get a lot more of the skills that we obtained at this point. Something funny. I'm not conditioning today. How long are you not conditioning? No.